Chase, how good did it feel to, to be able to get back and play in there against against Eastern after missing the Idaho State game? Uh, it's, it's great to be back out there with my teammates. Uh, I mean, you know, what was kind of the mindset going into it? Were you feeling pretty good or, you know, with, I mean, yeah, I mean, were, were you feeling pretty good after missing that game? Uh, yes, I, mean, I was feeling decent, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, best I can, for yeah. sure. Did you What's get... it like matching up with Justin, Justice uh, Perkins in practice? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. He's quite the freaking fireball, that guy is. <laughs> How so? Uh, I just... He's got the energy of a freaking ten-year-old, and he's got the weight of a you know whole lineman. <laughs> Comes off the ball pretty dang hard. This uh, senior day coming up, obviously. How, how special has this class been? The, the their teammates that are seniors. Uh, very special. I mean, some of these guys are definitely lifelong friends, and yeah, can't wait. Which ones uh, specifically are going to be lifelong friends? Uh, you guys, got guys like Lewis Kidd. I mean, he's been my roommate for five years now, I think, and um, get, that guy didn't come in with me, but uh, Mondre Williams, I would consider a lifelong friend for sure, and a couple others for sure. Troy, I imagine, up there? Troy, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it like, I mean, you've played with, with him. He, he was talking about how much he enjoys watching you on film. Are, are you the same way with him? Uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Uh, like, what, what's, the, what's the most uh, exciting thing about him, or what's a play that stands out with him? Uh, just his ability to get to the ball. <laughs> Yeah, like kind of side to side speed a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Open field, I imagine, when he had that pick six, was it was it pretty uh, exciting to see that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, sure. How much working. how much crap do you give him for the drop to uh, drop picks? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you say anything to him on on Saturday after that one? Not Saturday. I wait till Sunday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> give him butterfingers like Freddie. No, I don't go out of my way and give him candy. <laughs> Freddie's thing. I'll let him keep doing that. Uh, Callahan had a. Really interesting comment earlier this year about um, that the the fumble in the miracle of Missoula, and you were pushed your guy back, oh. you know, five yards. And I looked at yeah, you were like way in the backfield. I mean, how much? Obviously, that play I'm sure stands out, but how much you know does your individual play on that stand out for you? Um, for me, uh, in my play there is nothing really stands out for me. I just Tucker Yates, Grant Collins, Derek Marks. Those are the guys that really freaking, you know, made the play happen. What was kind of going through your mind as you uh, see, look behind you and, and see, you know, uh, everybody on the over there and Tucker on the ball? Um, <laughs> holy hell. And one more question on Troy, too. I mean, I, I remember that his commercial coming on during a game, and I looked, saw you on the sideline, and you looked like you were making a comment to him. Is, <laughs> were you there? Like, have you done that when his commercial comes on? Yeah, I think everyone has grown to, you know, appreciate the commercial <laughs> for what it is and give poke at him a little bit during the times we see it. What, what do you usually say or specifically? Uh, I probably shouldn't say that out loud. Okay. <laughs> What's the biggest thing that um, Montana State football and just the university has taught you that, you're, that you hope to take with you past the point of being here? Ooh. Uh, just never give up, keep grinding. No matter like what life throws at you, and you can always push through.